Magnus, uh, two years ago you were in this very uh, final against uh, France and you lost out to Arnaud Merkler. Is this a uh, redemption for you to, uh, to score a point in the final? Uh, yes, of course, a little bit. It's always nice to win uh, a match in the final for the team, uh, bring us in a lead of 2-0, so uh, that's real nice. In that second game you were ahead at the interval and then Lanier was, was playing a really good uh, attacking game all the way until the end of the second game. What were you thinking at that point? Were you sort of preparing for the third game already or what was going through your mind? Yeah, I think I had a lead on 11-7 or something. Uh, and he changed a bit in his tactics with a more offensive style of play. Uh, and I wasn't ready for that uh, and that's not good enough, but I managed to play very well in the third game. Uh, played the game with a lot of physics. Uh, I saw him uh, in the late of the second game, he, he looked very tired, he was attacking on the first shot, so uh, yeah, I, it was nice to play a good third game. Yeah. So Alex said exactly the same thing, he was feeling a little bit tired in, the, in that third game. What did you have to do to capitalise on, on what you were seeing? Uh, I can't really tell my tactics, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he looked tired in the, after two. Uh, the, the two first games, they were they were tough, especially the first game was was very hard for both of us. Uh, so yeah, it, it was... Uh, I, I felt uh, my legs were good, so uh, I, I knew that I could... Yeah, I thought I could run him down and that... Uh, that I managed to do that. So. Lastly, it's looking really good for Denmark here. Can you, can you do it in three? I hope so, and I think so. That's it. Best of luck. Well played, Magnus. Thank you.